Hi guys, got a few things going on at the moment, but I did have a request a while back from, I think it was JBoss Gaming, to do a solar powered clock. And I really couldn't see much point in doing it because you can buy them very cheap. Uh, to actually make one's going to cost more than it is to buy one. So, what I've got here is a little LED clock. Um, this one even has a light on it. But it takes... Uh, let's have a look. It appears to take two AA batteries. But I had a look at it earlier and it's got them wired in parallel, not in series. So it just uses them for extra current draw, I guess, rather than power. Because it lasts for ages, those batteries... Uh, I don't know if they've got a date on them. No. But certainly they've been in there for two or three years. I say I um, metered it out, checked it out, and I expected it to go from there to there, straight across there and back to there, but it doesn't. That point and that point are connected directly together, so that's the two negative terminals are directly together. So um, it doesn't go the way that they normally do. So it actually runs off a single, if I just plug one of them back in again. There you go. It's running on a single AA battery. If I plug it into the other bit, it's still running on a single AA battery. Take it out. And there's obviously some capacitance or something in there, but that's it. So, what I've got here is a little solar panel that comes out of one of these fluttering butterflies. I've used them quite a lot in the past because the electric motor that normally sits just there is a very low voltage motor. It runs off this panel. So all I've done is taken the motor out, connected a couple of wires onto the back of the solar panel, and if I, which way did I do this, I think I shoved that pin into there so I can connect onto the positive terminal, put that one onto the negative. Not quite enough light here to get it to run. But if I switch on this light, which will probably kill the camera. And there we go. It's working. So there we have a solar powered clock hasn't got enough power to make the lights come on but it's certainly got enough power there to run the clock so there we are a very simple cheap solar powered clock just wondering whether that little panel will drive this analog clock So we're not going at the moment. Light on. There we go. Just so we can see it. 
So there you are, a solar powered clock. Now obviously if you wanted to use this as a proper clock, this is useless. Because as soon as the sun goes down, the clock stops. So you would have to have a rechargeable battery there that you charge up during the lighted hours and discharge when it goes dark. And it'd have to be a good enough battery to last all night, wouldn't it? But there you go. So, a little LED or LCD clock or an analogue clock. Solar powered. Job done.